Now we're going to plot a long section of road one. So if you're following along from the previous module, make sure you're back in model space. We're going to go up to the roads tab, plan production panel, and then click on the long section pull down. And you'll see that there are a number of different tools in there. We're going to be making sure we click on long section. going to left click near road one uh, or press enter to produce it from a list and select it there. The initial form that pops up is related to selected sample sections. Now we didn't really cover this in great detail within the cross section plotting because we were able to cherry pick the cross sections we wanted from a list. The long section works slightly differently. This requires us to choose where we have an offset or a vertical line or a chainage displayed on our long sections. For the time being, we're going to click on the Edit Selected Sample Sections list. The column we're interested in is this column here. Every one of these tick boxes confirms that the following chainage will be displayed with a vertical line on the screen. If there are certain chainages that you do not want to be displayed on screen, and I'm simply going to uncheck 10 and 20 here, they will not be displayed. There is a caveat with this form. Wherever we have an IP on our vertical design, say for example we have an IP and a vertical curve at 10 meters and at 20, that will be displayed regardless of what we check within this form. For the time being, we're simply going to uncheck these two just to show you what it can do. We're going to go and click on apply and exit down the bottom left hand corner. Once we've done that, we're going to tell the software we want to use that list. So we're going to pick the box which says selected sampled sections. Now, whilst the style that we're presenting may not be uh, quite suitable, the initial um, point of this is just to have a look at the changes down the bottom left hand corner. You can see that we are missing 10 and 20 from the list. What we're going to do is just review this a little bit further and see how we can adjust this. So what I'm going to do is click on cancel which actually finishes the plotting. We've still got a plotting preview tab down the bottom of the form. We're going to ignore that for the time being and simply go back to model space. The list of changes that were available are entirely editable outside of the long section plotting. If we go back to the long section pull down, you'll see that we have selected sections. So go ahead and click on that. It'll ask you to select road one. So we're going to left click near the center line of road one. This is that same list. So I can now edit it without having to go through the process of creating a long section and then coming back out again. There's a couple of reasons why you may want to edit this. Firstly, the range of changes that we have is currently set up at every 10 meters with the addition of these little extras here, which you can actually see very conveniently in the drawing. As soon as I've selected that cell at 39, you'll see that there is a green line indicating where that particular section is that happens to be at the end of the arc. So at the moment, these are 10 meters plus all of the geometry as well. So let's say, for example, we wanted to have uh, spacings at every 20, not at every 10 and we wanted to add in some additional samples uh, of our choosing. Well, there's a couple of ways we do this. First of all, we're going to just close the form by clicking on cancel. We haven't made any changes. There's a couple of areas where we can manage this. The first one uh, is to use resample sections. So when we were in the road string module, we did have a look at how we can control the spacings of a string and adjust them if we wish and also uh, change the surface. So we're going to click on that button I'm going to left click near road one. And in here, if we decided that we wanted to have uh, spacings on our long sections at every 20, we can simply revise this number. So I'm simply going to change all three of these cells to 20. Click OK. I'm then going to go to the selected sections uh, button that we just clicked on earlier. If you see any issues with the uh, the line work in the drawing, this is just simply the draw order and the image which are um, uh, going back and forth. I'm going to select road one. Now you may be seeing samples still every 10 and 20. If you need to adjust this list to get it to reset to however you've resampled the road, you simply click on the reset list to current changes button. As you do that, you'll notice that now we only have samples at every 20 plus the horizontal geometry. Click on Apply and Exit. 
If there is an instance where you want to have a particular offset or vertical line drawn on your long section at a change of your choosing, we can do that by clicking on the resample sections pull down and clicking on the add ed and clicking on the add extra sections. Again, clicking near road one. We will be looking at this form in more detail when we come to uh, look at the addition of profile strings and seeing how the geometry can be tidied up using this particular form. We're going to use it to add in an extra section of our choice at chain 75. So all we do is left click in the first cell and type in 75. You'll notice to the left you can actually click on add single chainage. This will let you go and pick a location in the drawing if you wish. All we're going to do is click OK then go back to selected sections, left click near row 1 and you'll see that we've actually got 75 and it's labelled extra spacings, no vertical uh, grading editor which we'll talk about later. That currently isn't being told to display in the long section so we're going to check that box and then apply an exit. So you can build this list up, it's bespoke per string so as I go about changing this for say the grading string it'll be an entirely different list Let's go back to the long section plotting now. So we're going to go back to the pull down, click on long section, and then left click near road one. We're going to click on edit selected samples list. Now we were there a second ago, but it's worth just seeing how it looks. And you can see there we've got 20 not being drawn, which is fine, but we've got an extra one being drawn at 75. So let's click apply and exit. Now, as we want to use that list, let's go Selected Sample Sections. Down the bottom of the screen, you should see that we've got 75 being drawn in with the emission of um, 20. The first thing that you should do when you get this form is really load a style, because you can see the style we've got added in is fairly rudimentary, so we're going to load a style immediately, which looks along the lines of maybe what we're after. That button is found here load style. We're taken to our common folder where we're going to load the following style. Once you've done that click on open. The cross-section plotting will update. Now if for whatever reason you lose this form you click on cancel or you click on the top right hand corner we're just going to demonstrate how you get it back because it, it does happen when you begin to start learning how to use long sections you inadvertently close the form and you find yourself in a position such as this. You're in the preview but you're not actually generating any long section. All you do is either go back to model space and just simply restart the whole long section plotting process or you can go to long section, press enter, pick road 1 and then click OK pick selected sample sections and we're back to where we were again. So if at any point through this process you find yourself accidentally closing the form you can get back. Let's now have a look at the setup of the initial stages of this form and how we control the layers and text.